Welcome, thrill seekers, to our captivating video, 10 Scaries Travel Destinations. We're embarking on an exhilarating journey to the globe's most frightening locations. From dough-infested islands to the echoes of abandoned cities, each spot has a terrifying story to tell. Strap in and prepare to question the borders of reality and the paranormal. This isn't for faint of heart. Number 1. The Haunting Island of Dolls, Mexico. Tucked away in the canals of Ixocamilco lies an island unlike any other. Its trees are adorned, not with leaves or flowers, but with hundreds of dolls. Some are faded by the sun, others are missing limbs, but each one has a place in this eerie tableau. But why, you might ask, is there an island decorated dolls? The tale is a tragic one. It's said that a girl drowned under mysterious circumstances and that these dolls are here to appease her restless each doll. Hanging like a silent sentinel is a testament to the belief in the supernatural, a belief that the tangible can interact with the intangible, the living with the departed. An island filled with dolls might sound like a dream, but in Mexico, it's a chilling reality. Number 2. The Tower of London, England. This imposing fortress, standing majestically on the north bank of the River Thames, has played a pivotal role in England's history. Once the grand residence of monarchs, the tower also served as a treasury, safeguarding the crown jewels. Yet, its walls have witnessed dark times well. This royal castle was an infamous prison, a place of beheadings and imprisonments. Disturbing tales of treachery, intrigue, and power struggles sacco through its centuries-old stones. Figures like in Bullen and Guy Fox met their grisly fate here, contributing to the tower's reputation as a place of dread and death. Today, the eerie atmosphere that pervades the tower serves as a haunting reminder of England's turbulent past. The Tower of London, where history and horror intertwine. Each stone, each shadow, whispers tales of power and fear, making it a chilling stop on our journey of horror. Number 3. Hishima Island in Japan. This tiny, isolated island was once the epicenter of a thriving coal mining industry. It was a buzzing hive of activity where thousands of workers and their families lived and labored. Hashima, or Gunkanjima as it's often called, was a testament to the power of human ingenuity and resilience. However, as Japan transitioned from coal to petroleum, the island's fortunes took a dramatic turn. The mines were shut down, the people left, and what was once a place of life and energy became a deserted shell. Today, the decaying buildings and abandoned facilities stand as silent reminders of a bygone era. They echo with the stories of those who once called this place home. The island, now haunting ghost town, serves as a poignant reminder of the impermanence of human endeavor. Hashima Island is a silent witness to Japan's industrial past. Number 4. The Capuchin Catacomb, Italy. How about a walk among the dead? Beneath the bustling city of Palermo, a chilling spectacle unfolds. A labyrinthine network of tunnels and chambers houses thousands of mummified bodies. Their lifeless forms a stark contrast to the vibrancy above. The catacombs hold a silent congregation, each member with a story etched into their well-preserved features. Once the living, breathing citizens of Palermo, they now stand as a solemn testament to the passage of time. From the nobility to the commoners, the friars to the virgins, each has found a final resting place here, immortalized in death. But it's not just their sheer number that sends a shiver down your spine. Some of the bodies are posed in a manner that's eerily lifelike, making you feel as though you're intruding on a moment frozen in time. The Capuchin Catacombs gives a whole new meaning to the term rest in peace. Number 5. Aokigahara Forest, Japan. Tucked away at the foot of the majestic Mount Fuji, the sight of this dense, verdant woodland may seem like a tranquil retreat. But don't let its serene facade fool you. This is the Aokigahara Forest, a place that has earned its macabre reputation as the suicide this vast forest. A labyrinth of trees and undergrowth is eerily quiet, the dense foliage muffling the sounds of local wildlife. It's a place where compasses spin out of control, disorienting those who dare to venture deep within its borders. Yet, it's not the disorientation that has given Aokigahara its notoriety. It's the countless lives lost within its depths the souls that sought solace in its solitude that have cast a dark shadow over this forest. A place that, for many, was their last refuge, their final silent plea echoed through the trees. The Okigahara forest whispers tales of despair and solitude. Number 6. The Poveglia Island, Italy. 
Nestled between Venice and Lido in the Venetian lagoon, this seemingly innocuous island hides a chilling past. For centuries, it served as a quarantine station, isolating victims of the bubonic plague, and later, a mental asylum. Whispers of unethical experiments and inhumane treatment at the asylum still echo among the ruins. It's said that the island is haunted by the tormented souls of those who met their tragic and legends of paranormal activity are as abundant as the island's dark history. Visitors report strange occurrences, from chilling apparitions to unexplainable noses. The island is also rumored to house mass graves, the final resting place of thousands who succumbed to the plague. Poveglia Island is not for the faint-hearted. Its eerie silence, decaying structures, and the weight of its past make for a chilling experience. Poveglia Island, a place where history and horror intertwine. Number 7, Sedlik Ossuary, Czech Republic. This unique place of worship, nestled in the quaint town of Kutnhora, is a testament to the macabre beauty of mortality. The walls, ceilings, and furnishings of the chapel are intricately decorated with the bones of an estimated 40,000 individuals. The centerpiece of this bone decor is a grand chandelier, composed entirely of human skeletal remains. This remarkable piece of craftsmanship features every bone in the human body, intertwined in a dance of death and art. From the garlands of skulls to the coats of arms made from femurs and tibias, the ossuary is a remarkable demonstration of the artistic potential of the human form, even in death. This chapel is not a place of fear, but rather a place of reflection, a reminder of our shared mortality. At Sedlik Ossuary, death is not the end, but an art form. Number 8. Spree Park, Germany. Once a place of joy and laughter, Spree Park, located in the heart of Berlin, now stands as a haunting testament to the passage of time. The park, which ceased operations in the early 2000s, has since been gradually overtaken by the relentless grip of nature. The once bustling carousel, teeming with the excited chatter of children, now stands still, its vibrant colors faded and chipped. The towering Ferris wheel, once offering panoramic views of the city, is now a rusted relic, its cabins empty and swaying gently into the roller coaster tracks. Once echoing with screams of thrill, are now silenced, overgrown with creeping vines and moss. The park's eerie beauty lies in its decay. Its once lively spaces now filled with an ominous quiet. The whispers of the past seem to echo through the overgrown pathways, painting a vivid picture of joy and abandonment. Spree Park, where laughter has been replaced with an eerie silence. Number 9. The Ghost Town of Centralia in Pennsylvania, USA. It's a place where the earth has been on fire for over 60 years. Since 1962, a subterranean coal mine fire has been smoldering beneath the town, a relentless blaze that refuses to be extinguished. This inferno beneath the surface led to the evacuation of the town as the once bustling streets of Centralia became shrouded in smoke and toxic gases. The town's population dwindled, homes were abandoned, and Centralia was left to the mercy of the today. All that remains is an eerie ghost town where the ground is riddled with smoking fissures, a constant reminder of the fire that continues to burn below. The roads are deserted, buildings stand vacant, and silence prevails, broken only by the occasional hiss of escaping gases. Centralia has become a chilling testament to nature's power and man's inability to control it. Number 10. The Door to Hell, Turkmenistan. Also known as the Darvaza Gas Crater is a stunning yet eerie phenomenon in Turkmenistan's Karakum Desert. It originated in 1971 when Soviet geologists drilled into a natural gas pocket, causing the ground to collapse and form a massive crater. To prevent the release of poisonous gases, they ignited it, expecting it to burn off quickly. Instead, the fire has been raging ever since, creating a surreal landscape of flames that draw tourists and scientists fascinated by its enduring presence and unique ecosystem. 